Hi, No Ataxia Nation, and thanks for tuning in to another podcast on Ataxia Awareness. Today, I'd like to talk about nutrition, but before we do, I want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not a nutritionist, and I'm not a medical doctor. My goal is to challenge your thinking about your food choices and get you to consider if making some changes would benefit your health. So what is healthy eating? It's quite the buzzword. Everybody's talking about it. Well, I've simplified it, and I would like to share that simplified perspective with you. I think of food as fuel, and I want to give my body the best possible fuel so that it functions optimally. I put food into one or two categories. It's either a whole food or it's a packaged food. If it's a whole food, it's closest to its natural state, meaning it has minimal processing. An example of this would be an egg or meat, fruits and vegetables. Those are whole foods. Packaged foods, on the other hand, contain additives, preservatives, and chemicals. Have you ever picked up a package of chicken nuggets and turned it over to look at the ingredient list? The ingredient list is at least 30 words long and half of them you can't even pronounce because they're chemicals. I don't know about you, but I'm a little leery about putting chemicals into my body. I don't think my body was meant to process chemicals and I don't know what these chemicals are doing once they are inside. And chemicals have no nutritional value. So I would prefer to eat something that has a nutritional value. I think it would be better for my body. Another thing I try to stay away from is artificial sweeteners. And you know what I'm talking about, the pink packages, the yellow packages, the blue packages, and the diet sodas. I try to minimize those, if not totally eliminate them, because again, it's chemicals and it has no nutritional value. I try very hard to drink a lot of water. Our brains are made up primarily of water and we lose a lot of water every day just from normal things like sweating, going to the bathroom, or even crying. And so I like to replenish that water and make sure that my brain has enough water so that it's functioning optimally. And even my body has enough water so that it can function as it should. And then lastly, I follow like an 80-20 rule for my diet, meaning 80% of my diet is whole, nutritious, really good food. And 20% are my treats. So things like ice cream and cake and chips and cookies, those are treats. So I make sure that I'm not having them every day and I make sure when I have them, I have small portions. So I'm not eating a lot of them or consuming a lot of them. But I do allow myself to have treats because then I don't feel like I'm depriving myself of anything. This really isn't a diet. It's a way of life. And so really it comes down to just making the best possible choices, eating the most nutrient dense food and minimizing or eliminating the chemicals that I'm putting into my body through packaged foods. So there you have it, my simplified perspective. I hope that I gave you some things to consider and think about And I hope that I've challenged your thinking about some of the choices that you make with your food. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you for listening in to the Did You Know podcast with your host, Dana Morrow. Please subscribe to this channel to hear all of the latest podcasts. We hope that this podcast has provided you with valuable information and inspires you to advocate for yourself and educate everyone in your circle. Remember, You are the expert and best spokesperson for your rare disease. Thank you.